Did you ever have a co-worker that many years later, even though you're not on the same job, you just can't seem to forget about certain people or co-workers that you had? Let's face it, people spend a lot of time during the week with a co-worker. They become sort of like a family to you. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whenever this video finds you, hi, this is Jan. Welcome to another episode on the Save Money and More with Jan Channel. Why am I bringing up an old co-worker when I want to talk about July? Well, it kind of mixes in together, kind of, sort of. Anyway, I had this really great uh, co-worker. Her name was Glentine. So Glentine, if you're listening out there, uh, let me know in the comments section below. <laughs> But if you are listening, you're probably about 125 by now because I met you on one of my first first jobs. You were already a senior, practically. Oh, gee, Willikins. Hey, goodness bless you if you are. Hey, it's not impossible anymore. Listen, I want to talk to you today about July. So back to the co-worker for a second. So we would work side by side. It was one of my first jobs at a really great organization. And uh, let's just say this... Uh, that, that she was a very spirited lady, let me tell you. <laughs> Anytime something didn't go her way, or she was a little suspicious about some ongoings at the office, you know, office water cooler gossip, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not that I would participate, but she would be the talker about it. I'm just saying. <clears throat> Excuse me, please. So she had this interesting habit. Now people like have little habits, for example, like, for example, I don't mind going, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what she used to do? If she didn't like something, she'd go, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> so all day long, five days a week, seven hours a day, <laughs> at least three times in an hour, I would hear her going, Glenn team would be going, uh, uh, uh. Well, Glentine, if you are still amongst us, and if you're listening from above, I could really assure you, like in capital letters, assure you that this month for you, you would be constantly going, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> I'm just saying, and you know, it's really, it's really no joke. I want to dial it back a minute, calm it down a minute. If this is no joke, this month, Okay. I'm glad it's over. I, I'll just come right out with it. I'm not going to hold back any punches on that. I'm glad this month is, is done. This month, by far, I feel like we went through about 25 different weird things all at once. Big things too. Not little things. I wouldn't mind if it was, well, you know, one's a garden variety thing, you know. No. No. Big, 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 big stuff. And definitely Glentine would be going, oh, she would be probably put on a permanent sound that I would have to buy earmuffs or anything to continue to work with her on that basis. But this month, this was a doozy, and I'm not going to lie, I'm glad it's behind me. But I want to point out something positive because I always look for the positives. In life, no matter what, no matter what, try to find the positives. Because I just got through the warmest, warmest live chat I think really I've had in a long time on my channel, and that was in celebration and acknowledgement of my sixth year tube anniversary, my six years anniversary on this platform. I humbly thank everyone, the ones who were able to make the chat, the ones who participated in so many ways, the ones who watched it later on, you know, at a you know more convenient time. I thank you. The folks that are there every single day. There are some people, I'm not even kidding you that I get to communicate with. I feel honored. I feel humbled and honored that I get to communicate with on a daily basis. Because on a day, imagine this, on a daily basis with all the gazillion videos out there, and there are wonderful, really awesome stuff out there, and still takes a minute, oh, I want to watch Jan, and, you know, and not only that, say hello, whatever. Uh, amazing. Uh, amazing. I didn't do anything that great, in my honest. In my honest, I just want to deliver a message that I believe might help at least one person that day. That's truly my mission. That's Steve's mission, too. We both, one day we were chatting in what we call the green room before a show, and somehow it happened to come up about our channel's missions. And we were like, we nailed it exactly at the same time in conversation. 
We both share the same mission. If we could help at least one person per video message every single day, then, you know, wipe our hands, throw them up in the air and go, you know what? We did our job that day. And because we're fairly frequent uploaders, I upload very frequently and Steve uploads on a regular basis, weekly, two to three times. That's frequent. I mean, you know, what an honor. What an honor, because then comes back the comments, the comments that are so helpful in this growing community, okay? It is not just about, I'm sitting here making a recording, giving a message, wipe my hands, I'm done. No, 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 no. I've been building up a community here. And the folks know how many times, I have learned so many things, guess from where? Not from me, eh -eh. Or should I do a Glenteen? Glenteen, where are you? Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Learn so many things from the commenters, so many methods of saving. What do you do with food? What do you do to avoid food waste? These are important topics. I don't think they're trivial. To me, I'm sorry. No, I'm not sorry. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> I don't think it's trivial to find ways to make sure that we keep our refrigerators going in a maximum fashion. We paid for that precious food. And I will, I will say this till my last day on this planet, okay? What might be scraps to some of us is Thanksgiving dinner to a lot of other people. Not necessarily where we are, because where we are, we have tons of resources, see? And, and as far as like, you know, food waste, that's one of my missions too, to recognize there's so much food waste. And a few years ago, I learned about something I personally never even heard of. I never thought that in the location, you know, where I am in this part of the world, you know, with all these states, that there are some areas of this country that have a thing called a food desert. I'm like, what? like capital W-H-A-T with about 200 question marks. No, 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 no. I don't get that. Now, if I understand correctly, a food desert is basically an area of the world where the only thing people can get fairly locally, fairly easy, easily, would be fast food, but not so fast to get to a real grocery store or a place to buy fresh whole foods. No, 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 no. That is scary. To me, it is a scary thought to think that sometimes it's one thing, like for example, as a treat, right? You want to go and grab once in a great while, pack up your family, jump in the car and get a little fast food as a so-called treat. I personally don't do it. I haven't done so in years, but that's me. That doesn't mean the rest of the world thinks the way I do. But let's say a person does that as a treat. That is a whole lot different than the, the folks that just breaks my heart that the only thing reliably they could count on is being able to drive, you know, in a local fashion to fast food and their like real grocery stores are a gazillion miles away. I do not take these things for granted. You see, that's, that's part of the problem. That's one of the things I didn't care for about that occurred in this month that's thankfully is concluding on this date when this airs. Let's see, recording this on July 24th. You should be, yeah, listening to this on July 31, okay? No, 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 no. And you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to play the We Could Do It Wednesday song. I don't think that's fair. I wanted to play the We Could Do It Wednesday song. Let's see if I could find it. Let's see if I could play it anyway in the middle, in the middle of this. That's if I could find it. But you know me, I'm a very spontaneous person. Hey, where is this? What happened to my song? I don't like that. Well, anyway, here's a reminder about money. Let's play this clip. Never, ever, ever, ever forget that we could always save. I don't care if it's $5. I don't care if it's $2. I don't care if it's $10. 
keep saving, keep trying, keep going. Doesn't matter your income. The only difference is a lower income person, it's going to take a little longer than a person that could save faster because they have a higher income. And that's it. But always have something on reserve. Always have something on reserve financially, I'm just saying. So let's review this month and let's put it back in the bottle where it belongs. In my honest, I'm not a fan of a few, well, number of things from this month. Cannot get into it. Um, fill in the blanks on that. And I cannot comment either on it. So I'll leave the comments uh, not disabled for this video, but I cannot respond to it. You'll probably just see a heart if there's anything like that. So in any event, I want to wish everybody a wonderful beginning of next month ahead of time. What can we do to make next month better? There are things around us we have no control over, such as certain things that occur. But the things that we can fix, what can we do to make the upcoming month better financially for yourself? Only you can answer that. But take a breath. Be happy. Let's do a glentine all together. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Here's to you, Glentine, and all the wonderful co-workers that ever I have ever 